Hey, what's going on summoners? My name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at the best bot laner for every elo. Each rank has a different skill level and with that different OP champions. While most champs are strong across the board, introducing things like game knowledge and counterplay can make a huge difference. We'll be covering the champions, why they're strong, and we'll even give you a quick build for them just in case you want to try them out. Did your main champion make the list? Well, let's find out and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got none other than Miss Fortune. Boasting a high win rate and play rate, it's not surprising she's dominating in Iron. Miss Fortune offers an extremely simple kit that is able to pack a punch with little to no effort. Pair this with her dominating laning face and you've got yourself one of the best AD carries in this rank. Sure, she may not offer the mechanical outplay satisfaction of someone like Vayne, but hey, at least you'll be winning games. Diving into her build, be sure to take Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Press the Attack, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes give you great trading power and sustain for the laning phase. Moving on to your items, you'll be building Kraken Slayer, Berserkers, Greaves, Collector, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix, and then finish off with either Bloodthirster for sustain or Guardian Angel for survivability. Before we continue on to our next rank, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. We offer tons of guides and videos to help you take your gameplay to the next level. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the ProGuides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we've got Jin who is dominating in bronze. Jin is often referred to as the perfect AD carry due to his great champ design and steady power. He offers a strong laning phase, great scaling, amazing utility, and a fairly simple kit. While his four bullets may seem a bit intimidating, it actually adds a ton of power to his basic attacks. Overall, Jin dominates bronze games due to his ability to provide his team with a little bit of everything. Plus, once he gets four items, he'll take anyone out within four shots. Moving on to Jin's build, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust as your summoner spells. As for your runes, be sure to take Fleet Footwork, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Celerity, and Gathering Storm. This will let you be a bit more reckless with your trades while also giving you great survivability. For your actual items, you'll be rushing Gale Force, then building Swiftness Boots, Collector, Rapid Fire Cannon, Infinity Edge, and finish off with Lord Dominix for Armor Pen or Guardian's Angel for survivability. Moving on to our next rank, we've got the flashy AD carry herself, Samira. It's fitting that this S rank needing champion is holding a high win rate and play rate in silver. Her powerful snowball potential makes her the perfect candidate for wiping entire teams off of a slight lead. Plus, in silver, not many players are going to react in time to stop her ultimate before it tears them to shreds. If you're looking to carry games through a powerful early lead, or if you enjoy Katarina, then Samira is likely what you'd pick out to carry your silver games. Take a look at Samira's build. You'll be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust as your summoner spells. For your runes, be sure to take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will give you a lot of the early game damage you'll need to snowball out of control. For your items, you'll be rushing Shield Bow, then building Plated Steel Caps, Collector, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix, and finish off with either GA or Death Stance. GA is great if your allies can follow up on your death. If you're just gonna wipe fights, then feel free to get DD instead. Moving on to the rank that can get you seasonal rewards, we've got none other than Kai'Sa as our pick for gold. Since her release, Kai'Sa has been a hated champion and it's for good reason. She offers build versatility, percentage HP damage, mix damage, invisibility, dashes, the list is endless. The sheer amount of self-sufficiency that Kai'Sa has is what makes her such a powerful pick for pro players as well. Now, imagine this level of versatility in a gold match where you'll be able to kite out enemies and dive the backline. Overall, Kai'Sa is a powerful pick that needs a little bit of practice, but it's well worth it. Take a look at Kai'Sa's build. You'll be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust as your summoner spells. Moving on to your runes, you'll be taking Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. This may not be the Hail of Blades page you're used to, but it'll help with your DPS and kiting, so be sure to practice using Lethal Tempo. Your items will consist of Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Collector, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, and then finish off with your choice of Lord Dominix or Guardian Angel. Don't forget that Noon Quiver, Pickaxe, and Serrated Dirk get you an early Q Evolve. 
Now before we move on, let's not forget about our favorite Pro Guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is your favorite League of Legends skin line? Personally, I think any of the Magic and D&D based skin lines are awesome. They really paint champions in a completely different light. But that's my take, and we want to hear from you. So regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comment section down below. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Moving on to Platinum, we've got none other than Tristana. Trist is honestly a great pick at so many ranks thanks to her being both a powerful scaling champion and a strong early game dominator. Platinum is the perfect place for her since players are respecting early game a bit more but they're still unable to close out games. She can gain an early lead, then scale into the late game where she becomes an absolute monster thanks to her attack speed steroid and increased range from her passive. Overall, she's a well-rounded champion that can be a solid pick if you're looking to climb through Platinum. Diving into her build, you'll be taking Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. Versus Enchanters, we recommend taking Cleanse so you can remove their exhaust in the early game. As for your runes, you'll be taking Hail of Blades, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Triumph, and Legend Bloodline. These runes will make your early game even stronger, so don't be afraid to dive right in as early as level 3. For your actual items, you'll be building Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix, and finish off with either Bloodthirster for Sustain or Guardian Angel for Survivability. Moving on to our next rank, we've got Seraphine as the best bot laner for Diamond. We're approaching the higher ranks and with it, people are able to play for their allies as well as looking for AP options. With the abundance of AD laners and junglers, Seraphine is a powerful champion to pick up. She offers some of the best utility in the game as well as a nice bit of damage thanks to her AoE. Plus, she's pretty hard to kill in lane thanks to her amazing wave clear. Overall, if you're looking for a powerful AP option that can 1v9 games, Seraphine is a great addition to your roster. Taking a look at Seraphine's build, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Heal, Exhaust, or Teleport. Your choice really depends on if you need Sustain, Peel, or if you can just freely scale. Onto your runes, you'll be taking Summoner Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes will help you out with your early game damage while also giving you a nice bit of scaling. Finally, your items will consist of Leandris, Lucidity Boots, Rhylais, Zhonyas, Seraphs, and Rabadons. Keep in mind that Rhylice makes your E instantly root the target. Introducing us to the realm of High Elo, we've got none other than Lucian for our master's pick. Lucian is a powerful lane bully who has seen a lot of attention lately thanks to his OP pairing with Nami. While you can't guarantee you'll be paired with Nami every game, you can always ensure that you gain even a small lead early. He offers great mobility, high base damage, and fairly good wave clear. Depending on the support matchup, Lucian can easily 1v2 the lane with little to no help. Unfortunately, he's also prone to being punished by junglers if he oversteps too often. Overall, if you're looking at climbing masters, Lucian is a self-sufficient AD carry that can also be paired with great enchanters. Looking at Lucian's build, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Exhaust or Cleanse. Cleanse is really good when facing enemies with CC or if you anticipate that they'll be running Exhaust. For your runes, you'll be running First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Presence of Mind, and Legend Bloodline. This rune page may seem a bit odd since most Lucians are running PTA, but trust us, it's extremely powerful. You'll be looking to take short trades with your First Strike for bonus damage and gold. To pair with this rune page, you'll be building Gale Force, Berserker's Greaves, Collector, RFC, Infinity Edge, and finish off with either LDR for Armor Pen, or once again, Guardian Angel for survivability. With RFC and Gale Force, you can quickly catch out an enemy and burst them with ease. Before we continue on to the end of the video, we want to remind you all that climbing can be hard and sometimes you'll need help or just someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Returning to the video, we've got Varus as our Grandmaster pick. Grandmaster is an extremely high rank and it shows dedication, discipline, and well, skill. Varus pairs well with this thanks to his versatile playstyle and great kit. He can opt for AP if he needs to shred tanks, poke when facing squishies, and can even default to on hit if his team needs DPS. On top of this, Varus has one of the strongest laning phases in the game thanks to his powerful trading patterns and his ability to shove the wave in an instant. He doesn't even have that many awful matchups, so he's fairly blind pickable. 
Overall, if you're making your final push to Challenger, Varus is a champion that just won't let you down. Diving into his build, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Ghost or Exhaust. Ghost is great if you're able to stay in lane. Otherwise, take Exhaust for extra presence and peel. For your runes, you'll be taking Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Taste of Blood, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will give you great late game scaling, as well as a little bit of snowball power. For your items, you'll be building Shield Bow, Berserker's Greaves, Rage Blade, Wit's End, Runans, and finish off with either Bloodthirster or Guardian's Angel. Varus has a fairly versatile build path, so after Rage Blade, you can build whatever fits your situation. Some people have even opted for Blade of the Ruined King instead. Last, but certainly not least, we've got Karthus as our best bot laner for Challenger. Challenger is the tippity top of the top, the absolute best of all players. These are players that avoid making mistakes and will constantly make the right play. A champion like Karthus can dominate games both in the jungle and the bottom lane. In Challenger, he is an absolute menace due to his insane scaling, great lane presence, and thanks to Exhaust, his dueling power. The issue with Karthus is due to his lack of mobility, not many people can navigate the champion that well. That being said, Challenger Karthus players are able to dominate the laning phase while also scaling up into an absolute beast in the late game. If you're looking for more LP after hitting Challenger, there really is no better bot laner than Karthus. Moving on to his build, you'll be taking Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. Exhaust helps a ton at not only reducing enemy damage to win duels, but it also makes landing your Qs easier. As for your runes, you'll be running Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, Presence of Mind, and Last Stand. There are a few times that we've seen players run First Strike, but Dark Harvest has been the most consistent. These runes will let you snowball incredibly fast while also giving you some nice early game damage. Finally, for your actual items, you'll be building Leandries, Sork Shoes, Shadow Flame, Void Staff, Rabadons, and finish off with a Zhonyas. If you need the peel, feel free to pick up Zhonyas a bit earlier. Once you hit about 3 items, you'll be dominating the game, so just keep yourself safe till then. And that concludes our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.